Dear Born here from the Laws of Attraction in Action, and that's the Laws of Attraction.com and the Laws of Attraction group right here on Facebook. Well, as the heading said, guys, first of all, it is a sunny day, sunny, sunny day in Las Vegas. I don't know what the deal is, but I feel exceptionally hot. It's just like, I don't know if it's humid, I don't know what the deal is, but it just feels really close to me today. But that being said, it's a glorious day and I am blessed to be alive. I am grateful to be alive because there was a time in my life when I didn't think I was going to make it. But God saw fit and I saw fit. Let me, let me back this up. I saw fit with a thought to say, hmm, maybe life could. And next thing I know, I was kicked right back into my body. So on that score, guys, hey, Burns, how you doing, darling? On that score, it is a wondrous day to be alive. And I'm blessed, 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 blessed. So that being said, guys, just a quick um, uh, Facebook Live because I'm here at work. Hey, babes, um, I'm here at work. One of the things that I wanted to say to you guys is simply this. As for those of you who do know me and those of you, you who don't, I am definitely, definitely entrenched in the universal laws of attraction and understanding that it is the laws and not the law of attraction. It is the laws of attraction. And the first law in the universal laws of attraction is choice. Nothing happens in your life save you have made a choice. Now, please understand me as some people really get, get offended because they say, well, I didn't want this to happen to me and this shouldn't have happened. To me. I'm, not, I'm not condoning anything that has happened to you, your loved ones, to your person, to your people, to your country, to, to, to anybody, you know, to your faith. I'm not condoning anything that has happened. And this is a nuance. This is one of the things that I deal with with the universal laws of attraction is the nuances. And people don't understand the nuances. And the nuance is, it is not, it's not about condoning or blaming. It's about understanding yourself and empowering yourself with the understanding that everything that happens in your life happens for a choice. Sorry, happens for a reason. And that reason is because you made a choice. Wherever you have found yourself in life where you have not wanted to be, you have made a choice that have put you in the crosshairs. You have made a choice that has put you in that periscope. You have made a choice that has placed you right where you are at. And again, it's not blaming and or condoning what you've done. Even if you do this for yourself or for others to blame or, or look, it's not about that. It's about understanding and empowering yourself through the understanding that your life is built one choice at a time. For those, and I, I say this every time I'm on here, but for those who, who are scripture based, for those who are metaphysically based, for those who are new thought based, for those of you who are spiritually based, you know and have the understanding that before anything can happen, you have to step to the universal creator known to me as God. You have to step to God. You have to step to Christ. You have to step to Buddha, Muhammad, Elohim, whomever, Krishna, whomever your deity or deities are. You have to make some sort of choice in order for your deity to assist and support you in whatever you want coming into fruition and realization. So that being said, one of the things that I do want to say before I get off, because like I said, um, I'm, I'm, um, I'm at work and I figured I needed to do this because I just spoke to the group about something else. And I figured that I actually, I, I, not I figured, I really wanted to do this. <sighs> things that manifest in our life can sometimes, um, things that can manifest in, <laughs> oh, Ooh, junior, junior gun. Things that can manifest in our lives can sometimes give us the impression that our lives are being turned upside down and inside out. Things that manifest in our lives sometimes give us the impression that we are and have not had any control or any voice in what has happened. And that's not true. Everything, everything that happens in your life has happened as I just stated because of a choice that you've made actually when I just spoke to the group I just spoke to the group my group the laws of attraction and I just did did a short um, uh, video uh, Facebook live for them 
And one of the things, and I'm going to use this analogy with you guys. One of the things that um, that uh, <laughs> Bernice, you know, you're wrong, sister. You had to kick him out like a football. Wow. <laughs> one of the things that I had said to said to them is is simply this. You have asked for, I, I used weight loss, okay? So you want to lose weight. And so you're doing everything that you can. You are affirming, you're praying, you're taking inspired action, you're looking for inspired action, you're doing the visualization, not just seeing yourself as it, but you are it, you are being it. You know, you're being your size zero or size five or whatever it is that you're wanting. Okay, house, whatever it is, you you interject, you fill in the blank, whatever it is that you're wanting. You're seeing this whole thing out playing out picture, but yet still it's not happening. Yet still everything that you do, it's it's blocked. Everything that you do, it's blocked. And you're like, oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. You know, everything. And so therefore, one of the things that I want to say to you is there's a universal law of being specific. And a lot of people don't realize that, okay, you say that you want to lose weight. We are energy. We are energetic beings. We have come into creation and have been formed. And when we, when, when the, when we leave this body behind, we, we move out of form from this body. We are energetic beings. And as a result, we are um, intertwined with other energetic things. This is the nature of who we are. You have a relationship with your car, it's intertwined with you. You have a relationship with your house, it's intertwined with you. So it's vitally important to understand that concept, or at least to take it and roll it around your head and see how it fits in with your, with your methodology, with, you, with your thought process. So. You say that you want to lose weight, you want to buy a house, you want to get a car, you want more money, you want to be rich, and all this sort of stuff happen. Uh, sort of stuff. These are things that you want. Well, in order for that to manifest, there are times when you're going to have to lose people, places, and things. So the thing that you want can come into being. You see, for people who want to lose weight, you may be carrying dead weight around with you in the form of, Friendship, you know, friendships in the form of a relationship, in the form of the job that you're doing. And you need, that needs to go. You have to literally let that go. And what, what happens is you've stepped to the universe and you're doing everything right. You are praying, you're affirming, you are visualizing, you are being, you see yourself. You have the belief, so you have the faith, which is the rocket fuel. And now the universe takes that and the universe says, known to me as God says, yeah, I'm going to make that happen for you. And guess what? The relationship dissolves. You lose your job. People make their transition. You have to move. All these sort of things like, ah, all I want to do is be a size 8 or a size 10. That's all I want to do. Well, yes, and the universe heard you. But in order for it to materialize, in order for it to manifest, all these attachments that you have that are, in, in essence, creating this dilemma have to move. So, guys, sometimes when it appears that your life is being turned inside out and out, upside down sometimes when you have fallen to your knees or you've fallen on your face sometimes when you feel that you have hit rock bottom hit rock bottom yeah i know because you're looking good girl uh she said she lost she lost um uh seven stone and she's looking good i saw the picture when you feel that you have hit rock bottom no, you haven't. Rock bottom has given you a foundation to push off from. Where you found yourself on the floor, it's allowed you to steady yourself. So that when you stand, you can stand in the full knowledge and the full understanding that what you have asked God for, what you have asked God for, God is giving it to you. God is presenting it to you. So guys, your choices, the choices that you make, when in reality, it appears that the choices that you are making are wrong, the reality is they are right. 
There is no such thing as a wrong choice. There is just a choice. The only thing that makes that choice wrong for you or the only way that choice is going to um, uh, create problems in your life is the way in which you choose to react to a choice that you have made. As I've said to you before, guys, and I'm going to keep saying this to you, you are the one who is in control of your life. A lot of people will say they're not in control of their life. And guess what? Their life will spiral out of control. But you are making choices. So it's paramount that you make choices in the best interest of self. Know thyself. Know what it is that you want. Not all choices that you are consciously aware of are going to make you happy. Not all choices that you make in life are going to be cupcakes and rainbows. Some of the hardest choices that you will ever make in this life is to let people go in your life who you no longer serve and they no longer serve you. To let situations go that no longer serve you so you can move forward. Choice is a hard thing, but it is one of the greatest gifts God has ever given us to be able to choose for self in the best interest of self. So understand, there is no wrong choice. It's only how you react to it. We allow our emotions to dictate our choices. But I've said to you guys numerous times, our emotions are mercurial. Today we'll be angry and tomorrow we'll think it's funny. But you see, we've made a, we've made a decision based upon that anger. And once your words go out, your words go out, Every spiritual doctrine that I have read, once your words go out, they will not return to you void. So while today you were all pissy and upset and your word went out, and today it's okay, that word that went out has to come back to you. There are things that you have done and said when you were 16. You are now at the age of 70, reaping the rewards from that. But you see, people don't understand that because of their emotional, their emotional, you know, ups and downs. They don't understand that. But anyway, guys, my clients are here, so I've got to rock and roll. Understand that there is no wrong choice. There is only choice. How you react to the choice will dictate what else happens in your life. You get to choose. And I'm not saying don't be angry, mad, sad, glad. Run the gamut of emotions. What I am saying is do not base your choices upon how you feel emotionally bottom line because today's emotions that have brought you down are tomorrow's joys this is why as my girlfriend burns said we we've, we've been knowing each other from 15 16 years old 15 years old at college as my girlfriend said burns she kicked her old man like a football and her life has changed her life, and I know it took her a minute, and I know it wasn't easy, and her life has changed. She said it right here, and she's stronger now for making a choice that was right for her. So guys, on that note, Burns, my clients here, love you guys. I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. You can join the Law of Attraction group right here on Facebook. Check out the website, the Law of Attraction, the Laws, excuse me, of Attraction in action.com until next time margaret take care of you you're looking good girl i saw the pictures of you doing your stuff um until next time peace bye